Okay, next problem. A sample of clay taken, taken from a natural stratum was found to be partially saturated and when tested in the laboratory gave the following results. Compute the void ratio and the degree of saturation. Use the following uh, information and then draw the phase diagram. So these are the given information or data. We have a partially saturated soil implying that the degree of saturation is less than 100%. The specific gravity of the soil solid is equal to 2.7. Okay, from the field, we obtained a wet weight of the sample of the soil to be equal to 2.65 newton. After oven drying, so the dry weight of the soil sample now reduces to 2.15 newton. And then the volume of the sample in the field, this, this is referring to the wet volume, okay? So 165 cubic centimeters required. Letter A, void ratio. Letter B, degree of saturation. And for the solution, we have... First, we compute the water content, okay? Kasi given naman ang wet weight ng sample tsaka dry weight of the sample, we can now compute the water content because the water content is equal to the wet weight minus the dry weight divided by the dry weight or that's equal to the weight of the solid or weight of the water over the weight of the solid. Okay? So that's the water content. So, substituting known information, we have water content is equal to 23.26%. Second, we compute the moist unit weight. So, once the water content is known, G sub S is also known. So, we can now compute for the moist unit weight from the formula uh, W over V. Actually, uh, we will not be using the water content kasi ang gagamitin na lang natin is yung direct formula for the unit weight which is equal to the ratio of the weight and the volume. Okay? Kasi given naman ang weight tsaka yung volume. So, we have uh, moist unit weight is equal to 16.06 kN per cubic meter. Third, we compute the dry unit weight. So, diba, uh, from the previous problems, once the moist unit weight is known and a moisture content is also known, we can directly compute for the dry unit weight. And they are related from the formula moist unit weight over 1 plus W. Or pwede din gamitin natin yung direct formula or direct um, definition which is weight over volume, the dry weight over the total volume. So, the dry weight is equal to 2.15 newton divided by the total volume, which is 165 cubic centimeter, and converting that to kilonewton per cubic meter. So, the dry unit weight of the soil is 13.03 kilonewton per cubic meter. You may try also solving the dry unit weight using the formula that I have mentioned na dry unit weight is equal to the moist unit weight divided by 1 plus the moisture content. And the answer is still the same, which is equal to 13.03 kN per cubic meter. Okay? So, once the unit weight is known, we can then compute for the void ratio. Okay? So, the formula that we will be using is equal to G sub S over 1 plus E times unit weight of water. So, substituting the known information or data, so we can now solve for the um, void ratio. So, the void ratio is equal to 1.033. And then lastly, we can now solve for the degree of saturation from equation number 1 or yung tinatawag na GUES formula. Okay, so S is equal to W over G sub, W times G sub S over E and then substituting known uh, data. So the degree of saturation is approximately equal to 
Okay, next. Uh, to draw the, the values presented in this phase diagram, uh, we will be, we, we, I will try to show you the detailed calculation. So we start by solving for the volume of the solids, okay? The volume of the solid from the phase diagram is equal to 81.17 cubic centimeter. And how did we arrive at that value? So we start by, uh, by using the formula for the specific gravity of solid as equal to m sub s over v sub s times 1 over gamma of water or basically that's equal to the then unit weight of the solid over the unit weight of the water okay so we substitute the known ano, uh, data uh, g sub s is 2.70 the weight of the solid in this case we will be using the weight not the mass because mass and weight are just ano, kanang, uh, related. Ang, ang, ang nagkaiba lang sa kanila is that um, to compute for the weight, we have to multiply mass by the gravitational constant. Okay, so V sub S can now be solved and that's equal to 81.17 kilonewton, ah, 81.17 cubic centimeters. And take note also that the unit weight of water is equal to 9,810 newtons per cubic meter. In kilonewton, that's equal to 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. So next, let us now determine the weight of the water. Though. So the weight of the water from the phase diagram is equal to 0 0.50 newton. How did we arrive at that value? So the weight of the water is computed from the total weight, known total weight, which is 2.65, minus the known weight of the solid. Okay, so the weight of the water is just the difference of the total weight and the weight of the solid. So that's equal to 0 0.5 newtons. Next, let's now solve for the volume of water. So the volume of, of water according to the phase diagram presented is equal to 50.97 cubic centimeters. So to get that value, we define the unit weight formula as equal to weight of the water over the volume of the water. Okay, so di ba nakuha naman natin yung value ng weight of the water tapos uh, known man ang unit weight ng water. So, we can now compute for the volume of the water. Okay? So, that's equal to 50.97 cubic centimeters. We convert ko na lang siya diretso into cubic centimeters. But, if you divide 0 0.5 and 9810, the answer is not actually 50.97. You have to convert the, the answer to cubic centimeters. Okay? Then, the volume of air can now be computed once the volume of water is known. So, take note also na sa phase diagram, the mass of air is considered to be very very small very small now we can assume that it is equal to zero pero sa volume we cannot assume that the volume of air is equal to zero so meron talaga yung siyang air okay so how did we arrive at 32.86 na volume of air so known naman ang volume of solid known na rin ang volume of water so, obvious naman na ang volume of air is equal to the difference of the total volume the, 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 we sub, I mean, we subtract the volume of solid and the volume of water from the assumed total volume na 1 cubic meter. Okay, so the, the volume of air is equal to 32.86 cubic centimeters and that's it.